right, welcome back, welcome back. And of course, uh, we are going to speak to Mr. Braden Roberts. He is tutor to Bego officer. And we are going to look back a little bit at the school term, uh, well, school term in review. And of course, we'll talk few school term reopening uh, in January. All right, let's welcome Mr. Roberts. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Brother B. Good morning to the viewers and listeners. To the Very program. good. All right, let's just look back a little bit. Obviously, uh, I want us to give, give us an update as to how well this virtual schooling throughout the country has been going uh, from, uh, uh, was it, what, what month was it? September, October? Uh, September. Uh, yes. All right, tell us what, and, and we talk about the connectivity. Our children still uh, are having issues with uh, connectivity. Where are we with that situation presently? As well, Brother B, I said, well, I've, and welcome all persons who are viewing, but I must start by commending all those teachers who would have gone beyond to ensure that students are engaged to the point where some level of learning would have taken place. Mm -hmm. um, it would be extremely challenging, however, to, the, to have an assessment as to the quality or to what extent learning did take place because of course, we will not be as certain as to how genuine the responses of our students would have been. Mm -hmm. We know that they are in their remote spaces where they may be assisted. Mm -hmm. um, for one to, to have a true assessment, there will be significant work I would have to put in to isolate the child to see exactly how genuine their response is to know the extent of, of learning. Okay. But I okay. must begin by commending those teachers Teachers would have done a lot to, to go uh, to go around the challenges of connectivity, mm -hmm. doing the packages. Um, some teachers would have spent four to five hours planning a 45-minute lesson and that kind of a thing. So they even went against our guidelines in terms of the screen time and so on. Sometimes you're interacting with some of the teachers and they will complain how tired they are. Um, you would hear it in their voice. So that's where I would begin. Mm -hmm. um, to have an overview of the term, however, Learning would have taken place by all stakeholders. Um, teachers would have learned a lot of new strategies in ways, that even when we get back to the face-to-face, -face, they would have learned a, a few strategies, would have been more familiar with the technology to see how they can incorporate it into their classrooms. Um, parents would have been more engaged with their children and they have an idea as to um, their, their, their child's capacity, um, ways in which they can assist their child at home. And then, of course, it would have catered to some of the, the students who already inclined to the technology. And it would have also allowed those who were not so inclined to get an, a feel of it and, and be more prepared whenever we get to a blended approach or to use the technology within their learning space. Very good. All right. Let, let's deal a little bit with uh, uh, the complaints of non or disconnectivity. Uh, there are some children who are still awaiting laptops and uh, other devices. Seven million dollars was allocated, and we are waiting on that. However, uh, any any reports of uh, parents still uh, do not have connectivity, even though they may have the devices? Yes, well, there are a lot of those still. Um, to be honest, on the island, there are some areas that we call black spots, where the connectivity is either extremely low or it doesn't exist. Mm. Um, because the students are spread island wide, it would have be, several classes would be affected by it. However, um, between September to now, persons would have found ways of, of getting around it. Mm. Um, the asynchronous sessions, um, lessons would have been prepared for students who are not able to be on the live stream because sometimes the connectivity is strong enough where the messaging and the emails could come through, but to do a live session, it may not be strong enough. So the asynchronous work would have sufficed in, in that space. Teachers would have also made themselves available after sending work to, to communicate via WhatsApp and, and, and video call and that kind of a thing. Mm. So they would have find ways of, of getting around it. Mm. Of course, there will be the pockets of, of students who um, were not able to find an alternative way. There would have been parents who may not have been able to afford an alternative way because of their work schedule. So... I would have really been looking forward to the face-to-face -face we um, we starting in in January. All right. But schools are not outfitted to okay. to 
uh, let, facilitate that. Yeah, let me just ask. All right, okay, let's deal with the packages now. And we're coming to that, uh, opening of school in January and so on. But let, let's deal with that package that is also available that you hear most parents say is far more effective than the online. I am not getting into that discussion. <laughs> but I want you to tell me, how has that been working for most, uh, in some cases, where children do not have connectivity? Well, packages, it would work to, to some extent because... Um, it, you are able to reach out to the students who are not able to, to be online. Um, however, sending work and teaching is two different things. Mm -hmm. Well, well they, are, they are two different things. And um, while the students get in the package and they're doing work, they are more being engaged mm -hmm. than being taught. So they, it has to be supplemented by something else. Mm -hmm. And that's where sometimes the, the teachers make themselves available via the, um, mm -hmm. the WhatsApp and they, they will call the parents or call the students based on the age group to give further explanations and so on. Mm -hmm. um, based on the feedback I'm getting, um, packages would have been done and, and sent out and so forth. Teachers will have their schedule when they will go to school, send off when it's time to collect. However, there would have been some complaints, however, that um, sometimes they're sending out packages and few persons bringing it back. Um, sometimes they prepare packages and, and some parents not collecting. Now, some parents would be inclined to the packages because it would not require their attentiveness, like if it's a, a, a Zoom class mm -hmm. or an online class where they may be um, required to sit with their child based on the age group. So those parents may, may prefer the package. However, um, it's not the most effective means of, of doing the remote learning at this time. Very good. All right, so let, let's go now into uh, what was announced on Saturday by the Prime Minister uh, that all right, uh, online learning is, is – uh, we continue doing that because uh, uh, school will be reopened on the 4th of January, is it? Yeah, 4th of January. And, um, yeah. yeah, so I want you to talk to us because clearly school has been happening. Uh, it's that open, uh, with online children are learning and so on. But um, uh, and the possibility of the face to face take us from uh, the online and to the face to face that he also mentioned. If uh, the, it, it's, uh, um, it's safe to do so. All right. Um, the online. Well, it's a bit unfortunate that we have to remain online for such a long period of time because, um, but I mean, we really need to get an idea as to where we are with the, with the, the education and, and the, the syllabus that we need to successfully complete. It's not just um, getting the work done. Mm -hmm. We have to ensure the students are learning effectively to move on to the next level and so forth. Yeah. And, and that's why we would have been looking forward to the face-to-face the -face where we could really interact. Because the face-to-face, -face, you are allowed to get that body language. Mm -hmm. um, you may see the facial expression where you would, would feel the need to somehow explain the, the particular topic or the content in a different way to reach a particular child. Mm -hmm. So the online, we would have been making some strides, but I believe we really need to get back to the face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, as I mentioned before, schools are not outfitted for, for such. Um, as persons may be aware, we are one of the few professions where we take our resources to school. We have been assisting in, in upholding the, the education system for some time. And it is even worse when we have to consider blended learning. Um, I, I'm not certain there's any school with, on the island that could facilitate all students being in school and using the internet at the same time. Mm -hmm. I know that the division would have been seeking ways to upgrade the system. However, um, it's insufficient. And the funds that the Division of Education been getting over the years um, would have been way short of what they need to do because the Division has a wide mandate whereby it's about the salaries for teachers, um, the repairs of the school program, supplies to school, and they have been trying to ration, which results in, in teachers mm -hmm. now have to be putting their resources as well okay. to help uphold okay. it. All right, let's do this standard five and is it standard five and form four uh, that can and will go out uh, physically uh, with, with some caution. Talk to us about the readiness. You mentioned there about uh, infrastructure at the school may not be up to scratch. Tell us, are there schools in Tobago that you can identify that needs to be uh, maybe benches, I don't know, whatever is needed uh, as, your, as you represent the schools in terms of getting ready for that possibility of January 4th? All right, so it, it will be a lot easier if you have selected classes come out, as they would have done for the SCA preparation. 
they were able to secure safe spaces that the students would be able to utilize. Um, it is easier to prepare the schools, for even schools that generally have a lot to do, they can secure areas for which they can be accommodated in a safe manner and that there will be minimal disruptions. Um, also for the blended approach, if you, you bring out a certain number of, of, of students and teachers to operate from school, four or, or three to four teachers may be able to use the internet where they could be streaming from school, teaching those in front of them. Mm-hmm. And also those who are not able to come out can get something. Um, so I'm not so worried about the, 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 the groups that are called out. They would find areas within the schools. They would have been doing some work on the schools to prepare for, for this happening. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not worried at all for those who are to come out. All right. Let's talk about the, uh, the, the SCA students who uh, can't wait to put on their uniform and come out to the secondary <laughs> schools. Obviously, that has to be uh, virtual. Um, let's talk about how the process works. Um, pres- well, I know you have to register the child and so on. Uh, how is that going? Is that happening at all? Um, and, and let's talk that and we get further into it uh, in terms of how uh, that is going to work. As far as I'm aware, uh, registration has not started. Um, they would have done the orientation and, and sorry, they would have registered already. Mm. Um, orientation would have taken place online. Mm. Um, some schools would have allowed for a, a schedule where the, the orientation would be, would be done in, in that manner. Mm. Um, however, so the students, they, they, they want to get out. And exactly. I'm, I'm yeah. concerned yeah. that when they do get out, that they would behave in, in, a, in a manner that school would remain open. Mm. I believe that, I would have mentioned this some time back, that the division ministry should start putting out these these ads, like the same way they do for the child protection, like the good touch, bad touch. Do scenarios mm. so that we can reculture these students that when they get out, how they will behave. Mm. Um they have a lot of social work being done now where they're giving some guidance to some of these, these students who are overly stressed now. They're not able to play. Park's been closed for a while. So parents been being um, that, that pressure where the students full of energy at home hmm. and they have to try and deal with the situation. Um, so they, they need to do some more acts. We need to educate our students in a, in a particular way that hmm. it's not just to tell the students when they go back out to school, they don't, don't share a snack. Don't do and don't do. They must be able to see and get that integrated into them mm. so that by the time they get out, we can have a flow, mm. a, a, a smooth um, flow of, of our education system. All right. Let me ask you about the pronouncement, or the announcement rather, and it, it's based on the, the Secretary of Education, Mr. Kelvin Charles, um, recently spoke with us and he said the, uh, the, the seven million uh, that is spent on laptops and, and tablets is on its yes. way or where are you, where's the information on that from your standpoint and how, how that is intended to be ruled out from your perspective? All right. The last meeting we had was last week, Monday with the division. Um, while they would have placed the order, probably they have the order on hold. They have the allocation in TT dollars and they need, they are waiting the, the, the availability of U.S to complete the order so that the laptops could be shipped to, to be, I believe it's Miami. I was, we were informed that the laptops were purchased from mm-hmm. or, or, or ordered to be ordered from. Mm-hmm. But as far as last week, Monday, that order would not have been complete whereby the laptops would be on its way. Um, they would have promised that then that by November, the laptops would have been here and to be distributed to the students. However, they may not have, um, Factored in the the issue of availability of U.S. dollars. Okay. So we are still awaiting. Um, we are grateful for those persons who would have been supplementing in in the meantime. Though um, we they say the corporate sector been donating several um persons within the alumni been ad- donating to the schools. So we are grateful for that in the meantime. But we need to get the the accessibility in terms of the the devices. Just sort it out as soon as possible. Excellent. I want to ask you, as we get ready to wind up, about your view on sex education uh, being yeah. part of the yeah. curriculum. Why you, why you chuckle? <laughs> it's, it, it's a very touchy topic, uh-huh. but I will give it a good shot. Um, sex education 
it needs to be carefully implemented and it should not be forced upon persons to find um, ways in which it could be done. They should, it should be properly well structured whereby an, an, a, a smooth integration is done to, have, to, to ensure that it is treated with as sensitive as it needs to be because what happens when you have your set structure in place and students start probing for more answers and they start probing? How far do you go with the topic? Mm. So it's, it's something very touchy, um, to say that they, there should be, there should be some degree of it, mm. but it should be carefully implemented. And it's something that careful study should be done before, mm. um, in terms of putting out the, the content that should be covered or how far the discussion should go, that should be carefully communicated to the teachers who are to, to do such. Mm-hmm. And from there, we can assess how far to go with, with, with the thing. Right. Uh, let, me, let me ask about the response from your colleagues in the union, in the tut- yeah. uh, tutor. Uh, um, is, there any, is there any pushback? I mean, you're saying be cautious as how we go forward and how much information. But from the general body, uh, what are you getting? Is it that they are in support of and have the same view as you, or we should just run straight ahead? And then I'll come back to <clears throat> another point I want to make. All right, so from the various persons I would have interacted with, among um, comments I made, I would have heard um, fellow officers um, put forward. Um, it's not that we are against it because it is important. Mm-hmm. However, it's not something to just strain because we realize that there's a need for students to be educated at a particular level. We, we say, okay, let's do it. And we, we just put forward some topics and hope that teachers do the necessary guarding of the topic that they don't go beyond. Mm-hmm. So it is indeed important that some level is done, but it needs to be carefully thought out and, and, uh, and integration is carefully done and, and not something that's thrown in our teachers to have completed. All right. What tutor would have done and uh, the division of education would have done was to have uh, uh, education on television before the laptops and so on. And I was uh, at a house uh, recently, and I'm viewing a teacher giving sex education and sex about uh, how uh, a woman becomes pregnant, about the uterus, the sperm that leaves from the penis, and she was very blatant, clear, and this was televised. Uh, to all children maybe looking on and so on at all ages. And she, uh, she did a wonderful job. However, based on the information, because this subject is so taboo, everybody in the house looked at the television to see, well, hey, this woman really, you know, telling this <laughs> truth, telling this truth. So I, I am saying it has already been done, um, on this, uh, uh, the, this, the, the television. You remember the process that we spoke about when, when before it came to being. And I'm looking, and it's a teacher from Tobago, and it was a Tobago class that was televised nationally. So um, I hear you with the caution and how we're going, but it's already done, sir. Yes, but um, sometimes in, in a lot of good of, of things that we have with, with good intentions, there are the the the, the issues that would with, with lag behind it, and it's not to say that there isn't any good in it, you know, and it, it shouldn't be done. However, we need to minimize the damage that could take place because we do not want the, the different ages being too inquisitive and want to find out beyond what the teachers provide to the students. Mm. So, yes, it's important that they are aware of, of, of various aspects that are affecting their body, mm. the feelings that they will get as they go up in the various ages, mm-hmm. um, that they will be able to adequately report if they are feeling a particular way, if a particular part of their body is... is, is um, there's a sensation or something that they, they discomforted by that they can effectively communicate. Mm. However, you do not want to provide the information in such a way where they become even more inquisitive and, and start doing their own researches. <laughs> so yes, it's important, yeah. but yeah. there must be some degree of caution. Okay. Okay. I will not, I will not have seen that televised um, session, but yeah. Yeah. it's, it's, um, concerning because they're not certain what age groups will be watching the television yeah, yeah, to know I, how, 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 um, deep to go with your lesson. Yeah. Well, I mean, that is what got the attention of the entire household. And we, we looked on <laughs> and I'm, I'm saying, 
Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. As, as much as we may think that, uh, because biology is a study of the human body, of course, uh, and, and we do that in secondary school, however, uh, and that's okay because they are, uh, uh, you could con- consider that age appropriate education. But, um, when it is for our, uh, our, our primary schools and so on, then we can be a little cautious. I hear you and so on. All right. Let me, let me, let me give you an opportunity to wrap. Uh, uh, with, with um, school reopening on the fourth as to parents and teachers? All right. So, again, as I started with, with commending the teachers, um, I trust that the teachers will at least take some time within the holiday period to get some rest. It would have been a tough term. I know that um, there are teachers who would want to use their two-week or their three-week break to make sure that they're adequately prepared for January. I do not want us to, however, use up the vacation period that we, we deserve to get some rest to recuperate, to, to do um, in-depth work to the point where you are burnt out come January. Um, parents, I know parents will also get an ease where they don't have to be rushing home to assist their, their, their child in, in the school work. They are getting a little ease as well. Um, please allow the students during this period to also get their rest time because we want that when we come back out in January, whether it's virtual and February, some persons coming out face to face, that they are adequately rejuvenated and ready to take in the next term. Um, we will assist the division as best as we could. We know that all would not be well. However, the division, we are asking the division to do as best as they can. I know that funds may be limited, but we cannot have the excuse of of no, of no funds for years upon years, especially where we have science labs that would have been down for months or, or over a year. Um, we have the furniture in school that is termite ridden. Those things need to be treated with. We know that there are challenges, but we are here to work together. I have a fairly good relationship with persons at the division. So together, I believe we will get where we need to be. Very good. And uh, that's, I want you to keep that good relation. And of course, uh, we want to encourage you. Uh, so, uh, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. All the good things to you and your family. And, uh, we'll see you next year. And to you and the viewers and listeners as well. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right. And of course, Mr. Roberts, very articulate, very sharp. And of course, treating with all the issues. And, uh, he said we got to be cautious with sex education. And, uh, well, I guess, uh, age appropriate information according to the age of the child and so on. But anyhow, interesting that he has an interest and we hope that Tutor supports that, uh, information that needs to be decided.